So it's just a few days before Halloween. And what better book to read this time of the year than a scary book, a horror, a book written by Stephen King. Except this book is not a horror. This is Holly. It's a mystery. It's suspense. It is scary, creepy, dark, unsettling. But it's not supernatural. It's not a typical horror in that sense. But it's a good read. I read it recently. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Holly is a great character. In my opinion, she's not perfect. She smokes. She's withdrawn. But she's been growing and now she's got her own book. And it's a good one. Uh, the book is about a little over 400 pages. It's tight. It's really well written. The pacing is excellent. It is a mystery. It's a murder mystery. Serial killers. Fabulous villains in this book. Villains, plural. They're fabulous because they're really bad. They're really creepy. They're horrible people. But at the same time, they love one another. They're fabulous together. They're an older couple. You know from the beginning of the book who the villains are. So this isn't a spoiler. You feel like they're your grandparents, essentially. Or somebody's grandparents, anyway. Thankfully, not mine. In any case, in this book, we have Holly, who is obviously a detective. She is now the person in charge of Finders Keepers Detective Agency. And she is tasked with solving this mystery. Someone has disappeared. Perhaps more than one person has disappeared. She's been going through some personal stuff Holly has. What's great about this book is we dig a little bit deeper into Holly's past. It is, after all, her book. So we learn more about her. We learn interesting things. And Holly learns interesting things about the relationship she has with her mom or had with her mom. Because, again, right in the beginning, we find out that her mom just passed away due to COVID. And while I love the book, since I just mentioned that, one thing about this book that is a negative and not everyone will enjoy is the heavy politics around COVID. I'm trying to forget about COVID years. This was a pretty heavy reminder of COVID and the politics around vaccinations, all of that. And it's pretty heavy handed. And you like kind of hear Stephen King talking himself through these characters. I don't think necessarily he needed to inject as much of it into this book, but you can overlook it, I think, because the story is good. The characters are excellent. It's well written. The pacing, it's got a good ending. It's tight. It's, it, an ending is actually interesting for Stephen King. I felt it was kind of restrained. It was not, it was not an explosive ending. It was, dare I say, realistic in a way of what actually could happen. And I really appreciated that. There are so many books that are just trying to just trying to go bigger and bigger and bigger. In this book, King definitely shows some restraint. I think that's the best word for it. And I think the book is all the better for that restraint. Uh, it's very interesting because of it. Another thing that I don't know if everyone will enjoy is the fact that we know from the beginning who the bad guys are. Uh, I liked it. You know, if you're looking for a book more in kind of in a vein of uh, mm, Agatha Christie's books, where you're where you yourself as a reader are trying to figure out who done it, this isn't that. From the beginning, we know who done it. Uh, and we're just cheering Holly on as she's trying to slowly unravel the mystery. And she's a fabulous character, I think, because of the way she is portrayed. Like someone who is um, not without faults herself, but she's growing, she's getting better. And she has this job that is a godsend to her because it is her calling. And there's a lot about that, about her past through flashbacks that we learn about how she grew up, how she was kind of kept down uh, at times, but she risen. She still stood up and now she's good at something. She's great at something. She enjoys it. At one point, I think she says, I love secrets. She lives for this stuff and it shows. Uh, she comes alive when she's on the case, when she's slowly reeling the bad guys in. So it's a really well written book. It's again, not the first book in which Holly is featured. So if you want to start properly with her uh, growth, you would probably start with the trilogy with Mr. Mercedes, Finders Keepers, and End of Watch, Outsiders. But I think, I think honestly, if you're if you weren't gonna read those books, this is a good one to just jump into one book, see if you like it, read about Holly, read the mystery. It's awesome. I liked it a lot. And then if you read the other ones, like six months or a year from now, I think the spoilers that are in this book that spoil the previous ones, you're gonna you're not gonna remember them anyway. At least I wouldn't. So anyway, I'm curious, have you read Holly? Did you like it? I know not everybody does. People have different opinions. 
Uh, I liked it a lot. It was a fast, quick read for me. It was tight. It was consistent. It had a good ending from the beginning till end. It felt like one solid read. I liked it. Let me know what are you reading now in October if you're reading anything scary or if it's just sci-fi all the way. I've read a lot of sci-fi this month too. I'm going to do a separate video going over maybe a few of the sci-fi books that I read recently. There are some good ones there. But for this video, I just wanted to give Stephen King and Holly all the props that this book deserves. And I'm just impressed also. Stephen King, he's up there, right? Isn't he like 76? His writing is still good. Uh, most, most great writers uh, wrote when they were young. And then typically, not always, but typically the writing suffers as they get a little bit older in age. I'm not seeing that with Stephen King. This is a good one. Fairy tale, I didn't like, but still it was well written, but I didn't love it. This is a good comeback, Stephen.